The Indianapolis Colts have used the 229th overall pick in the NFL draft on wide receiver Mike Strachan. I think I'm saying that last name right. I don't know. I wasn't watching the TV when they made the pick. But he's a wide receiver from Charleston. So obviously coming from a lower level of competition, did not play this past season. But in 2019, he had 19 touchdowns and over 1,300 yards. The season before that, over 1,000 yards. And he's 6'5", 225 pounds. So there's a lot to like there. And the arm length's great, 34-inch arms, I believe. You're working with a lot physically in this situation. Now, the Colts, they've added a bunch of pieces recently. Guys like Michael Pittman Jr., they brought Tua Hilton back. You're still waiting to see if Paris Campbell can do anything for you. He's been battling injuries consistently since coming into the NFL. So we're just, again, I'm guessing how the last name is pronounced. Strachan? I haven't... I, Hmm. This is bugging me, the fact that I didn't watch it on TV to hear it. I had the volume all the way down. It was on my computer. But where does he fit in here? So you get a wide receiver from Charleston. This is more or less throwing a dart at just a giant board for me. I mean, the NFL draft in general is just you taking shots. It's a giant lottery. You really have no idea if any of these guys are going to work out. You could be the best player in college football coming to the NFL and just not work out. That's how it happens. But here, you're taking a, a chance on a receiver that is just tall, has all the physical traits you could want, huge catch radius, and you're hoping that you can make him into a guy who will compete against NFL caliber players. Now, the concerns you have to have for him, play against the lower level of competition, so this might be the first time that he's facing guys consistently who are better than him, or guys consistently who are as strong or as quick as him. So you can run away from guys maybe at the low level of play at Charleston, but you're not going to be able to do it against guys who have been playing in the SEC or ACC or Big 10, Pac-12, whatever, for the past four or five years, or guys who have been in the NFL for a long time. So you have to worry about some of those transitions. The route running for him is not perfect. You have to work on that, certainly. He's a little bit slower, kind of like cuts than you would expect, but or than you would want, but you kind of expect that for guys 225. So a lot to work with physically there. Just has to improve and make things much crisper and get adjusted to the NFL level of competition.